Hello, this is Rob Benvy. I'm the author of the novel Bleeding Light, which will be blasting your way this coming July 2021, courtesy of your friends and mine at Invisible Publishing. It is an absolutely lovely spring day here in downtown Toronto, but right now I am sitting in front of a blank wall in my home for the purposes of delivering unto you a short excerpt from the book. Um, the section that I'm going to read is taken from about halfway through the novel, so it likely won't make a lick of sense to you, but hopefully will whet your appetite for uh, more. And um, without further preamble, here it is. An indeterminate measure of time slipped by. Alejandra was roused from her reverie. By what, precisely, she wasn't certain. Slinking out from behind the wall, she searched the riverbank and the ridge above, finding no one there. The police cruisers appeared to have moved on. The flood water moved unhurried. From upstream, a strange mass was rolling in. Her first thought was it was smoke, spewing from a forest fire off South Mountain, maybe. But this gassy lump came slithering across the river's surface, unlike the languor of the post-thunderstorm fog that on rare occasions deluged the city. It moved with intent. And as it inched closer up the bank, she discerned shafts of luminescence inside it, spectra of shifting color, a soft pinkish hue into violet, vivid blue into a deep auroral green, all pulsing together into pure white. The light opened, washing over her. She raised her hands. Its form carried no odor, only reassuring warmth. Here, perhaps, was the lenity she'd been hoping for, the unburdening. Despite her many fuck-ups and missteps, what had been promised was coming true. The barriers were dropping. Alejandra, the voice came from somewhere else behind her. The name it called meant nothing. Even the act of its suggestion was laughable. Only the light mattered. Through its iridescent wash, she made out angles, uncertain planes of distance, a city skyline, cranes towering over an excavated tract, an unbuilt tower's steel skeleton, a place unrecognizable. She took a step forward, but felt no link between impulse and muscle. The call came again, Alejandra. She turned from the light to discover a figure stumbling over the bumpy terrain toward her. Where this person had come from, why they were here, what she was seeing made no sense. You have to be careful. Some of these kids are real sociopaths. Jovina came forward, smiling. Her sweatshirt and jeans were soaked through. Veins of wet hair clung to her cheeks. Alejandra backed away, feeling the pain in her abdomen see the new. Already the light was receding, its, its mists withdrawing back to the river. Gone was what awaited her. What had been offered was rescinded. I have something for you, Javina said. Before Alejandra could react, Javina grabbed her wrist, forcing something into her palm and closing her fingers around it, cold and firm, a key. Thanks, Rob Benvy, Bleeding Light, Invisible, July 2021. Peace.